What are the security measures I should take when using a VPS? Using a virtual private server, VPS, offers a level of security in and of itself, as your resources are isolated from other users. However, there are additional measures you can take to enhance your VPS's security. Use strong passwords. Always use complex passwords for all accounts on your VPS. This includes the root account and any user accounts. Ensure your passwords include a mix of uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. Update regularly. Keep your server updated with the latest security patches. If you are using an OS like Ubuntu or CentOS, you can set up automatic updates to ensure you don't miss any critical security patches. Install a firewall. A firewall can help you control the traffic that reaches your server. It allows you to specify the ports, IP addresses, and protocols that can interact with your server. Disable root login. By default, root login is enabled in a VPS. This is a security risk as anyone can try to brute force your root password. Therefore, you should create a separate user account with pseudo permissions and disable the root login. Use secure connections. Always use secure connections like SSH, Secure Shell, or SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, when connecting to your server. Install Fail2 Ban or similar. Fail2 Ban is an intrusion prevention software that can protect your server from brute force attacks. It does this by temporarily or permanently banning IP addresses that show malicious signs, like too many password failures. Enable two factor authentication. 2FA This adds an extra layer of security by requiring not just a password and username, but also something that the user has on them. Implement regular backups. Regular backups won't directly secure your VPS, but they are a crucial step in maintaining your data's security. In the event of a security breach or data loss, backups will ensure you can recover quickly. Remove unused services. Unnecessary services can open up potential entry points for attacks. If you're not using a service, it's a good practice to disable or uninstall it. Monitor your server. Regularly check server logs and install software like Nagios or Zabbix for active monitoring of your VPS. This can help identify unusual activities that could indicate a security breach. Regularly scan for malware. Install and run a security solution that can detect and remove malware. Limit access. Only give access to people who need it and regularly review who has access to your VPS. By following these best practices, you can significantly improve the security of your VPS.